Section 118 of Childhood's Favourites and Fairy Stories. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Joe Pillsbury. Childhood's Favourites and Fairy Stories, Section 118, The Lion and the Mouse. A small mouse crept up to a sleeping lion. The mouse admired the lion's ears, his long whiskers, and his great mane. Since he's sleeping, thought the mouse, he'll never suspect I'm here. With that, the little mouse climbed up onto the lion's tail, ran across its back, slid down its leg, and jumped off its paw. The lion awoke and quickly caught the mouse between its claws. Please, said the mouse, let me go and I'll come back and help you some day. The lion laughed. You are so small, how could you ever help me? The lion laughed so hard that he had to hold his belly. The mouse jumped to freedom and ran until she was far, far away. The next day, two hunters came to the jungle. They went to the lion's lair and they set up a huge rope snare. When the lion came home that night, he stepped into the trap. He roared, he wept, but he couldn't pull himself free. The mouse heard the lion's pitiful roar and came back to help him. The mouse eyed the trap and noticed the one thick rope that held it together. She began nibbling and nibbling until the rope broke. The lion was able to shake off the other ropes and that held him tight. He stood up free again. The lion turned to the mouse and said, Dear friend, I was foolish to ridicule you for being small. You helped me by saving my life after all. End of section 118 Recording by Joe Pillsbury